What do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. No. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been all... Get your hands off me. <laughs> You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn s All I care, get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off of her! Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch! Hey! Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Here, Come just die. I will go. Help people. Can I help you, sir? All I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your. No trouble now, please. Buddy, I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. I paid for nothing. Waste of my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about, just 
men, but stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched oh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen. Buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Shit, no. No way. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Uh -oh. Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Look at this fat idiot. Oh, hello again. Never too soon, huh? Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say. You got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch him? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. <laughs>
Thank you. Stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business <laughs> is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Damn horse. Give me 
a dime. Give me something. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Okay, there. You idiot. Give a fellow a nickel. Ah, hurry, move. Ah, there a problem me. here? You'll be fine. Oh.
Why don't you join me and have a seat over here by by the fire? Oh, by the fire. Good job. Well, that's good of you. Come on, you.
Decent hunt, girl.
Hold up. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an address. Go saying something. I can smell his feet!
Okay then. Use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, eh? Hey? Damn it, Pearson. Well done there, are. Jose, you want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God, but you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him, let's get going. Okay, but well, I do kinda like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses, and the stables up have the best ones. Oh, well, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Let's get this on you, boy. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Don't be scared of him. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine Stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to Careful. that? Careful. Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. That turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. 
That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Stables are just up ahead. All right, who's hungry, Valentine? All right. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. You'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable them here for you. Here, take a look. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, let's see. So, mm, let's see. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. All right. Let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it.
Okay. I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Yeah. Yeah. We should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to eat the shower. Getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Alan, you get a set up. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Go on, then. I thought you said you were famished. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. <sighs> all right. Well, <sighs> we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. You ready? Oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. 
I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Hurry up so we can get going. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Pack up, Arthur, and let's get after him. Okay, let's go. Yep. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. The tracks go into those trees. If there's anything else. Yep. Something else on the ground, just here. There she here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it.
thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Wait, girl. This way, girl. Stay. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming? I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another we gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it's a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later.
If you ain't got papers, I can't give you much. I've been burned before. to you. Hey, brother! I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Yeah, man. Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Come on, girl. Easy now.
don't want to involve yourself with this. Hey, get yourself out of there. All right, then. You're about to get your... Peace. Whoa. Hey, if you ain't one of Khan's boys, you gotta what? kill her! Never a month of Sunday. What's that? That's him! Let's take him out for good! <laughs> Looking forward! <laughs>
There we go. Yeah. You ain't supposed to be here. Get lost. Okay. I told you, get lost. Yep, yep. Yep. No, girl, just give me a second.
big long. <laughs>
What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. <laughs> yes. Yes. <gasps> Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank Whoa. you, you saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. Uh -oh. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Yep. Yeah. I normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Hmm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. We're close now. Just a little further. Evening. Oh, good girl. Whoa, girl, easy now. Hey, you're okay, girl.
thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Move it. You got a problem here? Finest meat here. Nowhere else. Good to see you back. I'm gonna enjoy robbing you, tough guy. Hand it over. Hey, you better think real hard about what you Hurry want. up! I had about enough of you. Uh, uh, All right, whoa, 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 that whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just take it easy. Uh, 